Who uses their boats most? It's commonly believed that boat owners fall into about five different categories. There is the active racer who goes out racing and more often than not may not use a boat much if at all other than for racing. There is the active cruiser who is out cruising for their vacations and may not use the boat much other than for cruising. Then there is the second home type, the folks who spend most weekends and sometimes evenings on their boats but rarely take them out. And even then, only when the weather is absolutely perfect. There is the occasional user. The boat is a status symbol for these people, but it sits unattended except for the occasional outing with friends, family, or customers, and maybe on holiday weekends like Labor Day, weekend, or an air show, or something like that. Strangely, the largest group of boat owners is the type that have a neglected boat, 50%. That's the boat with the bird poop all over them. And uh, you probably don't know who the owner is. Some of them are just junk, but some of them are actually very nice newish boats. My neighbor at the marina is like that. In five years, I've seen him once. I'm at the marina every day. Small boat cruising shouldn't just be reserved for the rich. I believe we all should be allowed to take the time to enjoy the adventure. Let's get ready, learn a few necessary skills, find a boat, and take off for the adventures of our lives. I'm Alan Stokel, and this is Budget Boat Cruising. It seems strange, doesn't it, that some people would invest that much money on a boat and about $4,000 a year to keep it up at a club or a marina just to let it slowly rot away. Very sad. If you're one of these people, I'm going to offer several suggestions. There are thousands, perhaps millions of people in this world who would love a boat and probably use it a lot. If you're not using your boat, sell it. If the boat may be in difficult condition because it's, uh, you know, be difficult to sell, then there are other options. You can give it to charity, for instance. There are several charities in Canada and the United States who will accept your boat for a tax write-off. Some resell the boats and others use them to train young sailors. You can offer the boat for free on Craigslist or Kijiji or some similar website. Or think about this. Do you know someone who would just love to have your boat? Consider giving it to them on the understanding that you can use it a couple of times a year. If you currently only get out a couple of times a year anyway, you relieve yourself of a huge burden and you still get to sail. I'm Alan Stokel. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. That means more people can see the videos. It's just the way that YouTube works. You can write your comments below, or you might like our other videos. How to get a boat for free or almost free. Videos on planning a cruise. Or even try our do-it-yourself channel, Grampian Marine. Or maybe something a bit more eclectic. How to talk like a sailor. Or understanding Mayfor code. <laughs> That's really weird. <laughs>